Hello everybody and welcome back. Go ahead and get your pen or your pencil ready, marker, <laughs> whatever it is you happen to be holding, and we're going to go ahead and count up to 100. It's very important for us to keep counting up to 100 because we need to know those numbers automatically without even thinking. So here we go. Let's do that together. Get ready for your tallies. Let's go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Nice job, everybody. Let's count by fives all the way to 100. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. Go ahead and erase your board. The next thing I'd like you to do is to write out your numbers, counting by tens, all the way up to 100. So 10, 20, 30, okay? I'm going to give you 30 seconds to do that. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. Let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Let's erase those and see if you can do that without looking. Here we go again. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Nice job, everybody. So the next thing we're going to do is count backward from 20. We're going to start at 20 and go all the way back to zero. Okay, here we go. I'm going to give you 20 sec 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Go ahead and finish up. Let's count backward. Here we go. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. I'm going to count backward one more time. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Nice job, everybody. The next thing I'd like you to do is copy these numbers down. You have 39, 
95, and 72. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to draw the picture of them and write them in expanded form. You already wrote them in standard form. Now do picture form and expanded form. We'll do it together after the 30 seconds. On your mark, get set, go. Good job, everybody. This number is 39. There's one, two, three, ten sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ones. We say 30. We say 9. So 30 plus 9. This number is 95. We have nine ten sticks. Ones. We say 90. We say 5, so it's 90 plus 5. Nice job. This one is 72. We have 7 10 sticks and 2 ones. We say 70, 2, so 70 plus 2. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and erase your board. The very next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a few numbers in expanded form. I would like you to write the standard form because sometimes teachers like to trick kids. Here we go. What number would that make? 40 plus 7? That would make 47. Nice job. What about 20 plus 1? What number would that make? 21. Nice job. Here's a trickier one. What about 10 plus 4? That would make 14. Nice job. I'm going to go ahead and erase my board. And the very next thing we're going to do is practice adding and subtracting two-digit numbers. Before we do, I'd like you to write out your numbers 1 to 9 with all the touch points on them. You have 30 seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 with all the points on them. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. Go ahead and check your work. And we just do this to remind our brain how to count on all the numbers. Go ahead and erase your board. The very next thing I'm going to do is to give you a few two-digit numbers. Okay? Now if you remember the last lesson, we did a two-digit number plus a single digit number. I'd like you to copy that down and go ahead and add it. I'll give you a few, set, a few seconds to do that while I do it also. All my numbers are lined up on this side, close to the wall. I'm going to circle my five, five, six, seven, eight. Bring my two down. 28. So this is how you add a two digit number plus a one digit number. The next one over here, and this is going to be the ones that you see the most often, are going to be a two digit number, 23, plus 
a two-digit number, 45. When you add these up, you want to make sure that you don't have all your numbers all willy-nilly. Okay? You don't want to have your numbers all over the place. Okay? So if you're someone who struggles with lining up your numbers, it's okay if you want to draw lines. You don't have to, but that is something that you can help. That can help you keep track of where your numbers go. But you don't want it all willy-nilly. You can't just have them anywhere. You need to have them lined up nice and neat. Okay? So here we go. We're going to add just like we did before. We're going to do our ones. Now, sometimes kids will do this. They'll circle the three, and they'll go three, four, five. You will never add this way. You will never add horizontally. It's always up and down. It's always this way. So here I'm going to circle my five. Five, I'm going to count on my three. Six, seven, eight. Here, the same thing. On this problem, there was no number here, so I could just bring my two down. Here, there is a number, so I have to add it. Four is the bigger number, so I go four, five, six. There you go. Your answer is 68. What I'm going to do is I'm going to erase my board because it's a bit of a mess. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write up here three problems with two digit plus two digit. I would like you to write them down, and then I'm going to give you 30 seconds to add them. Okay? Here we go. You have 47. Plus 51. You have 63 plus 15. And you have 33 plus 56. Go ahead and copy those down, and I'm going to give you 30 seconds to add them. On your mark, get set, go. Nice job. I'm going to go ahead and add these so you can check your answers. Here, I'm going to circle the 7, 7, 8. Here, I'm going to circle the 5, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here, I'm going to circle my 5, 5, 6, 7, 8. Here, I'm going to circle my 6. Six, seven. Here I'm going to circle my six. Six, seven, eight, nine. Here I'm going to circle my five. Five, six, seven, eight. Go ahead and check your answers. I want to show you this problem right here is just like when we did seven plus one. This problem right here is just like when we did plus 3. And this problem right here is when we did 3 plus 6. All of the adding that we did before is in these problems. That's what makes touch math so great. You guys will be able to add a hundred numbers at a time simply because you know how to add all the numbers. Go ahead and erase your board. And the last thing we're going to do is our shapes. The very first shape I'd like you to draw is a square. 
can draw a square. Can you show me how to make it all even to show they're all even? Draw those lines on there. Nice job. Can you draw a rectangle next? When you draw a rectangle, you want to make sure that the sides across from each other are about the same size. Okay? Can you show they're equal by drawing the little lines on there? Nice job. The next one I'd like you to draw is a triangle. After a triangle, can you try an octagon? Do you remember how many sides an octagon has? Your hint, think of an octopus. The way that I draw it is I draw my two lines across from each other. Then I draw two more lines across from each other. And then I just connect all of those sides. The octagon has eight sides and eight vertices. Mine still isn't very good, but that's okay. The next one I'd like you to draw is a circle. Draw a circle. And then after that, I'd like you to draw a home plate for baseball. I'd like you to draw a pentagon. And a pentagon, remember, has five sides and five vertices. Nice job. Okay, everybody, the very next one I'd like you to draw, our new one today, is going to be a diamond. Okay? A diamond looks like a square, but tilted. Right? A diamond also has four vertices and four sides, but there are lots of ways you can draw them. You can fat, you can draw them long and skinny, okay? All of these right here are diamonds. All it is is that there are four vertices and four sides. The difference is these two right here and a diamond all have four sides and four vertices. The difference is a square and a rectangle have perfect corners. If you look here, you can make a little box in these corners. These have perfect corners. Now, vertices are where two lines meet. But not all of them are perfect corners. If you look at the triangle, you see how they're, you can't make a square here. If I try, it's just going to make a little rectangle. On these, I can, because these are little perfect corners. Okay? In a diamond, I can't do that. It's all kind of wonky. Okay? So that's the difference between what makes a diamond a diamond or a square a square. A diamond does not have perfect corners like a square or a rectangle. Okay? But it is a four-sided shape. So you just start up Just like that. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for your attention today. You did so well. Don't forget about the extra practice after the video. And we will see you next time.